there, it's April and Linda from Blacksburg Bell, and we're starting a new series, and it is called Happy Hour Friday. So we hope that you will grab a cocktail and join us on Happy Hour on Fridays to talk about a different topic. And today is Tequila Day. So we're going to start off by taking a little shot of tequila out of our adorable little cups. And I hate taking shots, so I'm going to plug my nose. <laughs> All right, ready? You've just ruined this for me. <laughs> ready? You can adjust. Set, go! Oh! Wham. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to talk about unique ways to package your products. That's what we're going to talk about today. Okay. Because we do package a lot of products. Uh, to mail out and um, we've got quite a bit of feedback from our customers customers mm -hmm. that we'd like to share with you. So how we package our small products, our jewelry Excuse pieces, me. is we <laughs> We make sure that they don't break by putting them in some kind of bubble wrap and then we then we wrap them with burlap and then we'll tie some twine around them or put some Japanese decorative tape around them so that they are they seem like a gift when you get them in the mail. They're exciting. That's right. And then we add a little gift tag to them with a little stamp of a cupcake and then it says, I hope you've had the sweetest day ever. So it's a fun little surprise when they get their package in the mail. I know. <laughs> I wish I could receive one from us, but since I haven't, um, we want you to be aware of the things that either you can receive from us <laughs> or that you can send off yourself. Right. So we want to help you make your products more unique in the packaging. So right. what are some ideas Excuse that you have? Excuse me. <laughs> All right. So what ideas do you have on packaging products? Well, April, I am a firm believer on recycling, repurposing. Um, I just don't like the way our landfills look. You know what I'm saying? And I think that um, we can do our part to save the earth. <laughs> so give some ideas. <laughs> Give some ideas on how you can recycle things. I'm glad you guys have a cocktail right now. <laughs> we don't usually do this. Oh, we do it all the time. She's lying. <laughs> okay. How can, you, how can you recycle things in your products? Give some examples while I drink. Okay. Well, I'm thinking if you have a product that you are mailing, you need something sturdy, uh, look around and think about, could I use this? One thing I like to use is a cigar box. Um, it, it's you can get them in many different sizes. Hold up, hold up. We got our lawyer over here. Are you allowed to mail out cigar boxes without the cigars? As long as you have appropriate postage. Okay. All right. So you can mail cigar boxes. I don't know about it internationally. I would check about that first. Okay. But okay, keep going. Cigar. I box. would say as long as they don't stink, mail it. <laughs> Some right. of them are very, you know, they have a really nice aroma. I don't think that that would seep through the exterior packaging that we put on. Right. Okay, back to you. Okay, so you would put the, what would you put in there? <laughs> in the cigar box. As I was saying, cigar boxes come in many different sizes, and it depends on the product that you're mailing. Keep going. You're doing great. Isn't she doing great? She's doing great. You could put jewelry in there. Yes, you could. Um, and then look around your home. Do you have um, leftover material uh, from a sewing project? Or do you have um, leftover, uh, you know, that kind of shredded paper that's crinkled and it's not as annoying as Easter grass. Right, right, right. You know, you might it have won't get everywhere. Yeah, you might have something like that. I think there's nothing more <clears throat> annoying than opening a gift and then you have all of this packaging spewing out that you have to vacuum after you mm -hmm. enjoy your gift. Or glitter. Never yes. send glitter. No, no. As much as we love it. Yes. We can't send it. Yeah. So, um... 
I'm kind of sitting like the church lady. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take some, take a sip of your drink, okay. and I will take, for a yeah, bit? and I'll take over. Okay, so another idea that you can do is, let's say you have something that's larger, you can't really do much to the inside of it. You just need to make sure that it gets there securely. So maybe you wrap the outside of the box in craft paper, and you want to jazz up the craft paper somehow. Mm -hmm. You could add a stamp to it, or. What I found, and I got this idea from Kelly Ray Roberts, and I'm not sure if I got it off of her blog or from her ebook, which is really good. I think it's called Taking Flight. You should check it out. But um, she shared this idea of how she puts to the fabulous so and so. So instead of just saying Molly Smith 420, whatever your address is, you would say to the fabulous Molly Smith. And so that jazzes it up a little bit too, because mm -hmm. when you get something special like that in the mail, then you think, wow. And then you think, wow, the gift must be fabulous too. Exactly. exactly. Okay. What so, else, April? So let me ask you. Mm -hmm. Let's say we have a box, a plain box, jewelry box. How can we jazz that up a little bit? Okay, if you have a plain jewelry box, sometimes they're gold, glittery, you know, a, a metallic type, or they'll be a plain white. And one thing I have, you know, I do a little bit of scrapbooking now and then, and I know you do a lot of it, but they sell... Uh, three-dimensional stickers now and they're not like the plastic shiny kind with the googly eyes they are actually um, mat board or foam core something like that with a um, uh, sticker right on the back so it's elevated from the package and really enhances it April so that you almost you don't need any other wrapping other than the sticker nice and you can find those at the dollar store. Exactly. And yeah. it keeps so it simple, and then you can pop it into a mailing bag or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and you can even dress up the mailing bag as well. Mm -hmm. Now, some people believe that they want to keep their brand consistent through everything. So they want to have their branding, their logo maybe on their box. They want to have it on their thank you card. They want to have it on their packaging. They want to have it in every area. That's not Linda and I. We don't do it that way. But that's another way you can do things, especially if you want a nice, clean look. We're more whimsical and... Um, Animated. Yeah. So we don't go that route, but that's another route that you can take. Mm -hmm. I'd say it's a very sophisticated Definitely. route, a high brow type thing where um, the gift inside reflects that luxurious mm -hmm. wrapping, mm -hmm. whereas we're a little bit more down to earth and um, I think that way. Yeah. So your product, what you're saying is your product should kind of reflect how you're going to wrap it. Yeah. So if your store is more whimsical, then you would have more whimsical wrapping. Mm -hmm. If you're more sophisticated, then you would stick with sophisticated wrapping. Yes, and if you like recycling and reusing, you might want to think about newspaper, particularly the want ads are just black and white type uh, with very little... Uh, picturing, you know, you can get sections like that. And then you can uh, dress that up either with stamps or colorful ribbon. Mm -hmm. Comic strips are great for kids or for, um, you know, you know, just keep in mind who is receiving it right. and go from there. Right. And when you use newspaper, the only warning is to make sure your product is already prepped so that it doesn't rub off on it. Yeah. Yeah. And comics are not, you know, as much of a, a hazard that way as the black ink. Right. It really rubs off a right. lot. So... So do you have any anything else to add, or does that about wrap no, it? No, I think we should wrap it up, April. All right. Cheers to that. Yes. Happy Hour Friday. Right. Join Tie us again. On. <laughs> Join us again next Friday. See you then. Bye.